Hi, I'm John Rollins, and I worked with David on three tours in the 70s, 1974, Diamond Dog, 76, the Station to Station Tour, and 1978, Isolar 2. The nicest thing about David is he's, he's more artist than he is rock star in that persona. Um, he stayed in the same style of rooms that we had on the road. I put a dark room in my bathroom in the hotel and, and the morning after each show we'd sit and have breakfast and look at contact sheets. Um, he, he wasn't a big guy on limousines, he often rented his own car and drove to and from stadiums and, and halls and whatnot. But uh, he was more into the craft of being an artist on stage than any rock star I've ever worked with. And, and that's why, A, this is one of his favorite pictures. It's also my favorite picture of 53 years of photography. One of the uh, nice things about working with David, uh, you're dealing with the uh, persona here that also did the lighting for everything on stage. He knew exactly where the light was going to fall. He created it so it was heavy from the right with a fill in from the bottom. And then of course there's backlighting to outline the back of his head as well. And uh, I, I called uh, a couple of weeks ago to find out about the fact of where did this occur at the end of what song. And uh, Eileen, his manager, said, well, I doubt that uh, I remember what song it was and I'm sure David probably doesn't either. This uh, pose is, is essentially a cue to his lighting director that when he had his hands like this, when, it, when his hands came up, the lights dimmed. Uh, I asked his manager uh, a few weeks ago because I'm getting a lot of questions about what song did he do it in and uh, what was the reason for the archer being created other than the lighting cue and was told, I don't know, I don't remember, and I doubt if David does too.